Hello everyone. Welcome to the topic Relations and Functions. Here we discuss composition of functions, FOG, GOF and inverse of a function. Prove that a function is invertible only if it is a 1-1 one -one function and an onto function. Consider two sets A and B having some elements and the function f is defined from set A to set B and it is given this f is invertible. So there will be definitely an inverse function from B to A. Now we need to show that for this f inverse to be possible, this f should have been 1-1 one -one function and onto function. Let's go for the first one. To check it, we are going by contradiction method. If possible, let this f is not a 1-1 one -one function. If possible, f from a to b is not a 1-1 one -one function. Let's see what would happen then. For a function to be 1-1, one -one, the definition says every distinct element in the domain will have distinct images. So, if we assume this f not to be a 1-1 one -one function, distinct elements x1 and x2 may have equal image. Two distinct elements, unequal elements may have images the same. Only if this kind of a situation happens, we can say this f is not 1-1. One -one. So for our function, not to be 1-1 one -one function, this kind of a pair at least should be there. Now, in such a situation, let us see, while taking f inverse on these elements, when it comes to the case of this y element, what will be f inverse y? This f inverse y, is it x1 or x2? Both are possible. Two possibilities we are getting here for f inverse y is equal to x1 or x2. Two possibilities. Now see, if an element has more than one image, then that function is, that rule is not a function. For this f inverse to be a function, every element should have unique image. Here, y, this kind of a y is having Two possible images, not unique image. So this reverse rule will not be a function. Since the value of f inverse y is not unique, f inverse is not a function. So f inverse is possible. It exists only if f is 1-1 one, one function. This assumption that we started with is not possible. If you go by that uh, assumption, it gives a contradiction. The inverse is not a function. And if inverse is not a function, we cannot call f as invertible function. Now the second part. Is it an onto function? Is it necessary that the function to be invertible, the function to be onto function? Again, we go by contradiction method. If possible, let us assume that f is not onto function. If it is not onto function, in the core domain of f, there will be at least one element which is not an image. Here, this y element, let's take a y element in the core domain which is not an image. If f is not an onto function, this kind of element will surely be there. Now, think of taking inverse now. What about the inverse of this element y? To which element it will take? There is no x corresponding to this y here. So when you take f inverse, this element will not have any image here. Hence again, this f inverse, this rule fails to be a function. f inverse will not be possible for a y of this kind. So, f inverse cannot be a function since one element doesn't have an image. Every element should have unique image for this to be a function. So, in case we assume this f to be 
not an onto function, then this f inverse rule will not be a function. So we have to conclude that f inverse will exist only if this f is onto function. Hence, for a function to be invertible, f has to be 1 1 function as well as onto function. Now let's do some verifications, some numerical questions. State with reason whether the following functions are inverse, where functions have inverse. F defined from set 1, 2, 3, 4 to set 10. And the F rule is expressed as a roster form. 1's image is 10, 2's image is 10. So the arrow diagram says this. All of these elements have same image 10. Of course, this F is not a 1, 1 function. Distinct elements are having same image. So it's not 1, 1 function. And if it is not a 1, 1 function, this F will not be invertible. It will not have inverse. So we conclude as distinct elements have equal images. F is not 1, 1 function. So F is not invertible. Hence F has no inverse function. Another example. A G function is defined from set 5, 6, 7, 8 to set 1, 2, 3, 4. And the G gives you these ordered pairs. So the arrow diagram says 5 is related to 4, 7 is also related to 4, 6 to 3 and 8 to 2. But just by drawing these two arrows, we can make a conclusion. Distinct elements are having same image again. 5's image is 4, 7 image also is 4. So again, this function is not 1, 1. As distinct elements have equal images, G is not 1, 1 function. Hence, no inverse for this G also. Another example, H. Defined from set 2, 3, 4, 5 to 7, 9, 11, 13. And the roster form tells you 2 is related to 7, 3's image is 9, image of 4 is 11, etc. Here is the arrow diagram. Here we observe this function is 1, 1 as well as on 2. 1, 1 because every distinct elements are taken to distinct images. So the function is 1, 1. And for each y in the codomain, there is a x associated here whose image is the y that you are taking. So it is on to function. So this h function is 1, 1 as well as on to. The function which is 1, 1 and on to is called a bijection. And a bijection is invertible and this has an inverse. As distinct elements have distinct images, h is 1, 1 function. Since there is no element left out in the codomain which is not an image, it is onto function. Since it is 1, 1 as well as onto, this function is invertible. Hence, the function h has an inverse. 